Good Thursday morning. It is day five of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. I imagine you're probably feeling like I do. I'm a little weaker. Um, I'm probably a little more irritable. Um, I think my wife would probably agree with that. <laughs> uh, and I could, you know, go for uh, some pizza. But this is fasting. We are denying ourselves and emptying ourselves so that the Holy Spirit can fill us with better things. Uh, I don't know about you, but I want to be on the same page as, as, as God. I want to... Um, I want to, I want to be in line with what God's doing. And so, um, so it's the discipline of fasting, um, and then couple that with extra prayer in the times that we could be eating or, you know, uh, snacking or those kinds of things. We're reading the word, we're praying, um, we're journaling, whatever those things may be. So just want to encourage you, hang in there, keep going. Uh, this first week is always, always rough. Um, if you've done things like uh, stop drinking coffee, um, you're probably uh, right now at about the worst of it. Uh, the headache should start, you know, going away and uh, just make sure you're drinking lots of water. Water's a uh, 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 faster's best friend. Um, just constantly uh, have a glass of water around you. Mine's on the other side of the of the office here. I would show you. I have a nice big um, cup of water that I uh, I work my way through uh, multiple times a day. And you're just your body's getting rid of all the junk. Um, all those, all those carbs and sugars and, uh, fats, um, you know, all that stuff, especially, especially right after Christmas. Um, and if you're like me, I, you know, I've, you know, the first week is that week where you just, I stepped on the scale, uh, yesterday and I was down four pounds in a week. Um, doesn't even look like it. So that's pretty sad. But, um, my point being, um, you know, your, your body's getting rid of. This is all the junk stuff this week. Um, next week will be different, but you're going to be past this 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 initial, um, you know, hate to use the word, but dump that you know your body's just just dumping everything right now and and getting rid of things that shouldn't have been there in the first place. It's like thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. This stuff is 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 lousy for me, anyways. So I hope, here's my prayer. I hope that while your body may feel weak and, um, you know, you may have a headache or those type of things, I pray that your spirit, on the other hand, is getting stronger. I pray that those times that you're, you're fasting and praying and you're journaling and you're meditating and you're in God's word, um, I really pray that those are becoming the best parts of your day, that it's not, that it's not um, something you have to do, but instead it's something that you're really enjoying. Um, God woke me up in the middle of the night two nights ago and said, hey, 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 you're not listening enough. I went, uh, yeah. So yesterday morning, I just got up and for 15 minutes, I just sat, sat with a piece of paper and a pen and let God talk. And instead of going through all these lists and trying to read and get da da da, I just stopped. I said, "Okay, God, what do you want to say?" Um, and there may be some times that you you have to do that as well. So I want to encourage you. Keep going. You're doing great, and uh, God's got good things for you. Okay, I've taken up almost half of my time encouraging you on the fast. Now let me get to some content here for you. I want to talk about the power of community in my last five minutes here says this in Acts chapter 2, starting in verse 42, it says, They, the disciples, the followers of Jesus, those that are there on the day after the day of Pentecost, there's been the 3,000 that have been added to the church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, 
and many wonders and miracles, or excuse me, miraculous signs were done by the apostles. Now look at this. Everyone, all the believers of verse 44, all the believers were together, had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods, and they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day. They continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes, ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of the people. And look what happens when they're together, when they're all on the same page, when they're all devoted to the same things. The Lord added to their numbers daily those who are being saved. Now, the power of community is this. The power of community is that we have a united purpose. The united purpose is to see God's will be done. The united purpose is that we are submitted fully and completely to our Heavenly Father. Not my will, your will. We have a divine calling and purpose. There's united purpose. No, There isn't one person who's out doing this and another person who's doing that. We're united in that purpose. I'll get to united vision last, but the, this purpose of growing in God, the purpose that we are being built up, we're, we're disciples. We're not um, deciding what is good for us on our own. We're submitting completely to God's plan and purpose uh, for our individual lives, but more importantly, for the corporate body. That's, that's one of the power of community. We, we think of the power of community just being, okay, we've got everything, but the power of community is united purpose. It's also that we have united prayer. Now, we've given you a prayer list for 2022. If we're all praying for our missionaries, we're all praying for our church leaders, we're all praying for our national, local, and state leaders, we're all praying for the vision of the church to become a reality, that God would give us fresh calling, fresh purpose, fresh vision. If we're all united in prayer for those things, then there's synergy in that request. We bring together our corporate prayers. So it's, it's why we give you a prayer list at the beginning of the year. You can add anything you want to that. But we would ask you to join us. You, one of the things we have on there, God, pay off our, our building. You know what? We would be able to do so much more in our community and for the kingdom if we didn't have a mortgage. So if we're all praying towards that and God's laying on our hearts and God's you know working, God can fulfill that, that prayer that mission, that hope, that desire in us. And the other side of it is, is as we're praying for it, we are united in that. Maybe it wasn't something you cared about too much, but now you're like, you know what? I'm praying about that. I'm seeing the value of that. We're all united in prayer. Thirdly, we're united in desire. Now, going back to that purpose, the desire is the same. We want to know God, and I want you to know God more closely. So I want to be in a community group. I want to be in a Bible study. I want to serve on a, a team here. At, at, so as I'm praying about it, God's beginning to work in my heart. God says, hey, you know what? They, the church needs someone to work in the children's ministry. God needs someone to step in and get our youth ministry going. God needs people who are financially investing into the church. God needs you to play the drums. Whatever it may be, that desire to know God more works itself in God speaking to us about how that works out. And that desire, here's what happens. God gives us the desire and then He then we act on it. Last one is this. We have a united vision. You know the vision of the church is to make the invisible God visible. We're here to develop people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. We're not here just to fill the pews. We're not here just to preach. We're not here just to, we're here making disciples. That's the purpose, the vision of the church. So I want to encourage you to pray, to seek God, and to ask for a greater desire for that united vision. Because here's the, the deal. When we're all united, the power of community is this, is that nothing can stand against us. Scripture says this. It says one person can be easily defeated. Two people can fight back to back and have a greater, um, greater uh, 
chance for success, but a three chord, uh, three braided chord is not easily broken. What would God do in our body if we were all united? The power of community. Lord, I pray today that you bless this church, your people, this community. I pray, Lord, that we would have a fresh burden for the power of community and that we'd go hard after you. Lord, I pray that you would bless your people today. Make them a blessing. In Christ's name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I will see you tomorrow.